AD, when a primal item drops, a second random primal item drops as well. Oh my God, these two right here, bro. What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today, Diablo and Blizzard, they have released the uh, PTR 2.7.5. Uh, patch notes this is going to be for season 28 and we're going to go over all these really really quick guys we're not doing anything crazy for the video um i do want to start off by saying i appreciate all the support on the channel guys thank you so much everybody for all the support that we've been doing we've been cranking and cranking it and cranking it and we're going to continue to bring you guys just good content so i really thank you guys so much for enjoying all the stuff now all right let's get into it so first things first we got the public test realm uh january 31st guys so mark your calendars we got january 31st is going to be the ptr if you are someone like myself that participates in the ptr um to see all the upcoming th changes and like really experience them for the next season definitely join in on that if not stand by for videos guys because we'll be having all kinds of stuff coming your way so january 31st is going to be the ptr for season 28 again we have roughly like the season 27 ends february 5th so shortly after that the 10th or maybe a week after that we'll get the uh season 28 so just mark your calendars on that uh the new seasonal theme is going to be rites of sanctuary primordial ash feature along with class skills and item changes okay rites of sanctuary season 28 all right we are traveling deep into the mysterious ruins of the festering woods uh let's see new Tristram stumbled upon us home to the power of thought to be extinct from sanctuary the altar of rites will bestow mystic forces upon worthy nephilim after a sacrifice is offered upon arrival the altar of rites players will see 26 icons 26 icons called seals and three legendary potion powers take a moment to familiarize with these below okay so seals and legendary potion powers so seal a your kill streak timer duration and reward bonus is double that's nice so like if you're on a kill streak it doubles that's really cool for exp pools of reflection last the entire season and are not removed by death wow wow that's crazy uh see items have no level requirement that is amazing so if you're like going through and you're playing multiple characters you won't necessarily need people to power level you per se or you won't need the gem of ease you can just have the power and then just level your guys up i mean it takes about 10 minutes to level up a character from you know zero to 70 if you have a level 70 item from level one and you just burn through it 10 percent damage double the amount of death breast that's dropped sweet so this stacked i wonder if this stacks on top of a uh of your follower with the cane set so if like maybe that just doubles it all together that'd be kind of crazy right double the amount of bounty caches that drop when completing bounties this is really good i can tell you man season 26 that double bounty cash thing was just so cool to me like i'm a, mainly a solo player so doing the bounty caches or the bounties and only getting you know, the normal you know it's it's a little bit slower over time but like when you get them doubled it's so nice uh progress orbs from nephilim or greater rifts are picked up automatically oh that is such a nice quality of life feature guys i mean there's been times like this season playing my uh thor build like for the crusader where like i'm killing stuff so much off screen and just around that i don't notice the the times the progress orbs and i forget to pick them up so or i think i picked them up when i haven't so this is real nice interesting pick up death's breaths oh pets pick them up Ooh, even better i like that elite packs drop one additional progress orb oh okay that's real nice oh my god that's gonna be so good i wonder if you can combine all these because if you have something like this is picked up automatically and then they drop an additional one, oh my god, you're just going to be zooming through GRs. Increased damage against bosses, that's nice. Pets pick up salvage, pick up and salvage common magic and rare items. Hmm, this one is actually very interesting. I wonder... Like, so the pets will just pick up the items so you don't have to and then auto salvage them? Yeah, because I guess really the only things you really care about are legendaries anyway. So this is actually good. I like that. Increase your dodge chance. Double the chance to find legendary items from Kadala. Oh, this is so good. How many times have we been like, you know, gambling with Kadala and we get like so many yellow and blues and we get like two legendaries. This is really nice. I like that. 
Potion AA. So the three different um, potion uh, powers, guys, coming at you. When you drink a health potion, you manifest one of the rune circles on the ground and grant increased damage, cooldown reduction, or resource cost reduction. That's really nice. Very cool When you every time you drink a potion. Uh, your enemies in 25 yards deal 25% less damage. This is okay. This is, this is solid for high GR pushing. I like it. Potion AC. When you drink your health potion, gain a random shrine pylon effect. Holy crap, guys. Every single time you pop your potion, you're going to get freaking like double power, uh, conduit, speed, get the shield. Oh my God, that's so good. You're going to be popping your potion just to pop it. Oh my God, that's good. AD, when a primal item drops, a second random primal item drops as well. Oh my God, these two right here, bro. These two right here. That's insane. How hard is it to get primals? And they're giving us double primals when they drop. Oh my God. And it's another random one. Holy crap. All right, Blizzard, you guys are going out, going all out on the last season of Diablo 3. Holy crap. These are so good. Okay, let's look and see how it works. As you can see, as you can see unlocking, uh, after unlocking the first seal, the order in which you unlock additional seals and obtain their powers is entirely up to you. I really like that. So it's not linear. You just get to pick and choose. Uh, to align with your character's build, I like it. Once a seal or legendary potion power is unlocked, you immediately receive the seal for that potion's power and will have the ability to unlock connected seals or potions once you have the required materials. Unlocked powers apply to all your characters and last for the entirety of Season 28. Fantastic. All right, how do we unlock them? Okay, so players must gather materials listed in the altar's menu and sacrifice them in order to gain a seal or potion's power. In addition to receiving the power, after unlocking, you'll notice the generic text previously displayed has been swapped with a small story scrap about Sanctuary's past. Regardless of which order you unlock them, the cost will increase as shown below. Oh, so that's why they're allowing you to pick and choose. Because it doesn't matter which ones you pick, each time you go up, it's going to cost more. So let's just take a look. So the first one, 10 reusable parts, very easy. A flawless diamond plus more um, parts and arcane dust. A greater rift key plus 10 dust dress, wow. Any class specific set helm, 20 souls, and then each of the bounty mats, 10 of each of the bounty mats. A Leorx regret, okay, so that's from each of the key wardens. Reaper wraps, 30 forgotten souls, 1100 blood shards okay so at least they're making it to where like it's really gonna have to make you grind and cost ancient puzzle ring plus 50 of each wow well that makes sense with the double so you want to get you want to get the double death breaths and the double like legendary items as well as the double uh bounty mats for these oh my god ancient fell fire any augmented item whisper of atonement that's pretty easy. Staff of Hurting. And then the potions are Primordial Ashes apiece. Wow. Okay, I really like this, though. It's really going to make you grind. This is really, really, really nice. Because, I mean, look at look at all the things you can get. You can just pick and choose. Next offering. It tells you right here. That's really nice. So the next offering pop up. You sacrifice it and you get to pick. Uncover an ancient legend. Unlock all seals. After you have conquered the enemies and acquired everything to unlock all seals and potions... You reward with the Wings of Terror. That's really cool. Wings of Terror cosmetic. That's really nice. Looks like the Horns of Diablo. That's so cool. So the Primordial Ash feature. Acquiring Primordial Ashes to offer is no small task. That's why we're adding the new Primordial Ash feature with this patch into aid in your quest. At the Blacksmith, you can salvage a Primal item for 55 Primordial Ashes. We've also added a Primordial Item recipe to the Kanaeus Cube, which will cost 100 Primordial Ashes in any non-crafted legendary item. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. So there's a prim primal item recipe. So you find you like, so basically you, what you want to do is, is whatever crappy like primal items you find, sack them for ashes. Then take a legendary item and make it to a primal legendary item. So if there's like a set that you've been building and you're missing the helmet, 
you can take it and just make it a primal item. Oh, that's so good. If I'm reading this right, that's exactly what it is. Oh my God, that's so good. Now we have a way, it, it's, it's tough. So it is gonna require a lot of grinding because you gotta naturally find primals to sack in here to get to the 100, but then you can make any legendary item a primal. Oh, that's so good. So it involves a lot of grinding, but you guys can do it. All right, guys, that is the patch notes for season 28. This is absolutely amazing. I am very, very excited. Remember, guys, January 31st, it all starts. Like the video, guys. Comment down below what do you think about the patch notes and the seasonal theme of the Rites of Sanctuary coming, as well as some of these class changes, which is really, really strong. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you are new here. We have a lot of people checking out the channel in these videos who are subscribed, so please subscribe to the channel, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.